Well, hello, I'm Celie Cauley. I'm a certified professional organizer. I'm also an organizing expert and educator. And today is August 1st, and I don't know if you know this, but today is the first day of Simplify Your Life Week. The first week in August is always Simplify Your Life Week. And certainly with Simplify You being my business name, I can get behind that wholeheartedly. So what does that really mean, Simplify Your Life Week? Well, it's interesting. I had a conversation with a friend of mine who got back from a beach vacation. And she just said it was fantastic. And of course, being on vacation always is. But what she realized is that the home that they were in had everything they needed and nothing more. It had all of the linens and dishes. They got in their food. They had games and puzzles but there wasn't an excess of anything. And when she came home to her own house, she was overwhelmed at how much excess that they had, knickknacks and tchotchkes. And she really did a huge clearing out because of it. So I think that's one thing you can start with for Simplify Your Life Week, is think about setting limits. Um, just trying to scale back on for what you need perhaps not everything you want but everything you need that was something that really resonated with her another thing we talked about was that she had limits on her time there were only so many hours in the day which we all discover but they realized that they could only really do one activity a day and make it worthwhile and I think that's something we can bring into our lives as well that I think we're trying to cram too much into our lives and if you can really do kind of the big three what, what are the big three things that you're trying to focus on? This is a concept from Michael Hyatt, and I do like it because if you can write those things down, the day can get away from us. But if you make sure that the big three items, and make sure they're doable, don't be like, you know, organize my home, item number one, wash the car, item number two, that's not realistic. But if you can get those big three items done, you can leave the day knowing that you've accom accomplished what you what you had. So I think simplifying your life, your your week, by setting limits. Another way that we all, I think, need to set limits is just learning how to say no. No is a complete sentence. And we need to say no to requests that are going to be exhausting and emotionally, physically, or with our time. So again all of a sudden we're all socializing it's very exciting but i think it's really important to say no if you know that you can only do one kind of social event a weekend you're just going to have to schedule one so simplify your life by setting some limits with your time with your energy and also with your money this is something um i think that it's really important to mention a lot of us were stuck at home and we weren't spending any money we weren't going shopping we weren't going on vacation and now that the world is op opening up we are so I'd like you to simplify your life by perhaps setting a budget something simple um, you know literally paper and pen just keeping track of your incoming and keeping track of your outgoing will help simplify you there's nothing more stressful than bills that you can't pay or late fees. So these are just a couple of ideas. Another one is simplifying your social media. I know I only focus on Facebook, my uh, fabulous group, Organizing Solutions for Busy Women, and a little bit on Instagram. I haven't been on Twitter ever. I've never in indulged in TikTok or got involved in Snapchat. Um, I'm not really active in Pinterest. I've really just focused on Facebook and Instagram. That's where I find my community, that's where my people are, and that's where I enjoy spending time. So that's another way that you could simplify your life this week by thinking about what social media you really want to be involved with and just letting go of the rest. So I hope that these ideas resonate with you. I invite you to say no as much as possible, to set limits on the things that our time sucks, that our energy sucks um, on your life, not just this week, but let August 1st be a fresh start. We're going into a new school year, and that's also a great time to do a fresh start. So I'm going to leave you with that. 
I'm Seely Cauley. I'm at Organizing Solutions for Busy Women on Facebook. You can also find me at SimplifyU.com. Be sure to sign up for my Tip Tuesdays. They come directly to your inbox every Tuesday. That just leaves me to say thanks and bye-bye. Bye-bye.